So, my son goes off on WAC 100 about the Takashi 69 interview. I'm about to break this video down telling you what I agree with and what I disagree with and my opinions on the whole situation. First of all, hit that like button, run them likes up, hit that notification bell, rock out with the most winning this team out here. I smoke hip hop live. Now look, I, I criticize my son a lot, but I will be real and say my son is one of the fewest people who is not afraid to call out Al Paul Martinez. I gotta give respect to my son. My son was one of the few people out here who spoke when everybody was quiet about Alpo. You know what I mean? So I do believe my son got a right to say what he's saying to WAC 100 and the 6 9 situation because my son, he stood, he stood tall. He stood solid, right? And he didn't tell and, and he felt back from all that. And you gotta give him some type of admiration and respect for that because he's a solid dude when it comes to that. My son don't look like the dude that'll run and leave a friend behind. He looks solid, bro. I ain't never criticize him on that. Now, here's my criticism of my son in the WAC 1069 thing. My son, you pushing an agenda to save black folks out here, right? We know this. You pushing this agenda. But you just like a Steven Jackson, bro. You got one foot in the streets, one foot in being this so-called activist. And then you said on a, 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 a respond to my video that, oh, these people don't know I'm not with Black Lives Matter. When a family asks us to be part of this and that and we go for it. But that does make you part of it. You, you go on certain platforms that Black Lives Matter is a is allowed to go on and you share that center stage with them that means you do have a certain agreement with what they're preaching as well because if you don't why are you on that same stage with them if you don't agree then voice your opinion right then and there and where you have them at a level playing field where you can call them out but you don't do that and that's the problem with me and my son but i i digress from that let's stick to what i really want to talk about now i don't get you my nigga which one you gonna be you gonna be the nigga that's changing the youth, making them become strong men and women out here, or you gonna keep pushing this narrative about who's a rat and who's not a snitch? Now, you may have been the one who called out Alpo, but I watched the game already, and I see all these folks who pick and choose who to call out on who's a rat, who's not. I give you props, you ain't one of them. But at the same time, my nigga, why are you so worried about that? Your, your new mission in life is being an activist. So go be the activist, nigga. Why are you out here worrying about who's the real street niggas and who's not? That's what I'm saying about niggas like you that are bought and paid for. You talk that good game. But I look at you niggas and I laugh, bro. Real life shit. Because I know you niggas. You niggas are my brothers, my uncles, my friends. My we basically know you niggas. You can't hide from us. We know you what you're doing. What you do is for that bag. You need a way to get money because your rap ain't like that. You keep saying you had the realest freestyle on, on, on Funk Flex. Anytime you got to keep telling us you had the best freestyle and all that, then it wasn't, my nigga. It was all right. It was not the best. I can give you Sue Surf, Tay Rock. I can keep going the level of greatness we had on that platform. You a nigga that feel yourself too much. You talk in the third person a lot because you want people to gravitate towards you and give you praise and flowers right now. I don't think Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, every other sentence, they have to tell people what they've done for the people. If your work has been proven out there, then my nigga, it'll be shown, my nigga. You don't have to say it every single day. You don't. This gangster act, you like the gangster shit. Just admit it, just like the rest of us, you like seeing the violence, you like seeing the entertainment side of this hip hop shit, but you're a liar. You try to present this narrative because of the co corporate sponsors that pay you behind the scenes. The platforms you get on behind the scenes. You gotta paint this picture and this narrative. You're my son, the revolutionary leader. Uh, a nigga that's revolutionary, nothing is still focused on who told and who didn't tell. My nigga, why is Daniel Hernandez on your radar? Why are you goddamn worried about 6ix9ine? We just had a lady who just got beat up and I think it was in Austin, Texas. She could use your help right now, my nigga. I, of course, me too, she could use my help, but definitely your, you got a platform and a voice that's known as the activist. Go be an activist and activate something in the street, my nigga. Go activate something and do something more realer than you feeling yourself like you an untamed gorilla. That ain't you no more, remember? That ain't you no more. 
It bothers me to see all these activists who always want to dibble and that. You like JT the bigger figure. Yo, I'm saving Africans. You're robbing Africans over there. And B Bafaso and also in Kenya right now. I got the receipts, but I ain't on JT right now. I'm on you, my nigga. You ain't saving nothing. You saving your pockets and I ain't hitting on. Get your money up. But my nigga, quit using it as an excuse and a fake resolution that you helping the youth. You ain't doing shit for the youth, my nigga. You helping to propagate their mind to find other aspects that bring us downwards. That keep pushing us in the back burner of where we belong on the level playing field in the front seat. We, we, could, we keep being in the back because other fake hotep conscious niggas who had to awaken. And to me, far too late. But you had to awaken. Now you selling bean pies that nobody want to fucking buy no more. We ain't buying your shit no more, Sharif. We ain't buying it no more. I see through you. You want to get in a beef with WAC 100 right, right now to, to make yourself relevant and bring some viral wave. You could have used that moment right then and there to attack educational purpose. When I say attack, because I know you people are sensitive, I'm speaking about rebuttaling with words. You could have used that platform and bring light and a whole lot of other madness happening out here. We still got young kids being killed, educational purpose. Go highlight that more. Why are you highlighting WAC 100 in a 6-9 fucking interview? What does that have to do with the communities and changing us and making us better ourselves? And I'll wait for it. What does who's a rat and who's not a rat has to do with change and revolution or not? I'm waiting for it. Do I support people who rat? No, I don't. But I'm not about to waste my day if I was an activist and, and, and promoting that. You've done several interviews and responses to this madness. I just seen your, your IG. You did a fifth response, my nigga. What are you in this for? To you and all the other fake snakes that are out here who continue and act like we gave you permission to speak for us. I didn't sign you up to be my fucking leader and the nigga that spoke for me. You do not speak for me nor my kids and family. You're the clown nigga that I try to get away from. I see right through you. You're only in this for the gains, not the losses. Because a real activist is here for the losses. Because the losses will bring you forward towards the gains. What monetary issues you went through since you did this new activist situation? You don't know what the people are going through anymore. You're bought and paid for. Educational purpose, allegedly. Allegedly bought and paid for. Because I got to be careful. Because one minute you preaching street stuff, the next minute you'll turn into one of these gospel singers out of nowhere. I know you, bruh. You'll revert back to that dude robbing taxi drivers, allegedly, or whatever, if the price is right. Nigga, I know niggas like you, bro. And I don't mean to judge like that, but I have a right to judge with all prejudice, educational purpose, when you're bringing, the, and I don't mean prejudice in judging people's uh, 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 ethnicity or nothing like that. I'm talking about his moral char character I'm judging. Who he say he is as an activist I'm judging. You ain't revolutionized anything. Because first of all, the revolution would not be televised. And you've been on several national platforms talking that hot ish that we know ain't nobody buying, my nigga. People look at you and listen to you for entertainment purposes to see who you beefing with now. And you know what I know. That's the secret formula. People want to catch who my son is beefing with today. Because that's the only way you become relevant. When you do one of these Black Lives Matter get gatherings, I know they don't pay for you. I get it, my nigga. But you still go around where they're at. You still bring your groups with their groups. And y'all do a coalition thing together. So, God damn it, to me, you are BLM. I don't care how much you try to separate yourself from them. And the fact that you even try to separate yourself from them and tell me everything, you still want to be looked as as a street nigga. You still worried and clicking and focused on what the street niggas are doing instead of clicking and focusing on the people who's hungry for that change, who need that 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 bravado of help right now that's coming from a so-called activist. Nah, you ain't activating shit, bruh. Nothing but your Twitter followers, your Instagram following, your YouTube views. That's all you're doing, gangster. And that's all you ever want to be known as is gangster. Ain't nothing wrong being known as a gangster. But stand on what you represent, my nigga. I'm tired of you people exploding the communities. That's that's right. You're worse not you're not worse than the gangsters 24-7. But sometimes to me, you guys are more destructive. Cause we can see this nigga over here is a, a ain't shit nigga. He just a thug nigga that's gonna use and take advantage of what we got but dudes like you you wear a mask 24 7 so niggas don't know where you coming from so you confuse the people and that makes you by far more dangerous than any of these fools out here because you come with a masquerade charade my nigga we see past the facade my son
You worrying about 6ix9ine? You want 6ix9ine to respond to you. You want WAC 100 to respond. Them niggas ain't paying attention. They look at you as a thirsty thotty and they're like, get out of here, Insta. You an Instagram model. You ain't no thug or or an activist. You became an Instagram model. You know the, the way you criticized Rick Ross years ago? Look at you now, King. The Insta, my son, the Instagram model, who keep Mr. Super Freestylers that you keep calling yourself. How about go freestyle your way out of being this fake charade? Can you freestyle that, my king? Fuck out of here, man. Look, I'm your God bless one, man. Love your family. Love your kids. And stay blessed, gangsters.